So, hello boys and girls, how are you doing? I hope you're all well settled back into school and you're getting on fine with Lent. And we have this time of Lent so that we can journey with Jesus from the desert, through his ministry, to Jerusalem and to the cross and Calvary. And everything that you're doing for Lent, all your promises, all your sacrifices, show Jesus how much you love him. And you know, Jesus knew that people would find it hard to be his followers. He knew his disciples would struggle at times. So one day he decided to give them a glimpse of heaven. Imagine that, a glimpse of heaven. So today in our quiet prayer time, in our meditation, I'm going to invite you to come with Jesus and the disciples and see the glimpse of heaven that he showed them. And as always, we begin just by making ourselves comfortable in our seats, our feet flat on the floor, our hands maybe on our laps loose or turned up. I'll give the shoulders a wee struggle and get the head turned around a bit. And then we'll just breathe and relax. And I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose again and out through your mouth. And this time when you breathe in, will you think of any distractions or any bothers or worries or something that's been annoying you? Just name it. And then with a the breath out, let it all go. Just let it all go. We breathe in again. We think about anything that's bothering us. Maybe somebody that we're not in the best of terms with. And we just breathe out and we let it all go again. And this time as you breathe in, I would invite you, if you can, to close your eyes. We breathe out gently. And as we breathe in, breathe in God's love, God's care, God's peace, God's forgiveness. God's absolute trust in you. And breathe out again. We breathe in, remembering and asking for the gift of the Holy Spirit to help us to open our hearts and our minds to whatever Jesus wants us to hear and do today. And so with your eyes closed, can you imagine yourself sitting in a beautiful field filled with people listening to Jesus? And you're feeling good because Jesus has told you about God's love for you and his wonderful plan to build up his kingdom on earth with everybody at peace, everybody caring for each other, everybody looking out for each other. Look around, look at the faces of the people there. Look at the faces of Jesus' disciples, his close friends. And now notice as Jesus goes to Peter and James and John. And he seems to be giving them directions and he's pointing towards a very high mountain. I wonder what's going on. And as they get up and are about to move, Jesus turns to you. And he smiles at you and he calls you by your name. And he says, would you like to come with us too? How does that make you feel? To walk with Peter and James and John. Chat to Jesus. And find yourself at the foot of a mountain. And begin to climb. It might be hard at times, but if you keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, you will find yourself very soon through the rough patches, through the difficult parts, the scary bits, and you'll be eventually at the top of the mountain. And Jesus moves forward now on his own. And he takes up a place on the mountain and he begins to pray. And all of a sudden, he is transformed with a bright, bright white light, 
totally surrounded in white. And there seemed to be two other figures with them. Can you see who they are? There is Moses and the prophet Elijah from the Old Testament. People who followed God closely, who proclaimed the good news. Peter gets very excited and he says, Lord, Lord, should we make tents and should we allow them to stay? And Jesus just smiles at Peter. And then a voice is heard saying, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Can you hear those words, children? This is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter, listen to him. And Jesus beckons you now to come and sit down beside him and listen to him. So make yourself comfortable beside Jesus and listen to what he has to say to you today. Listen as Jesus tells you that what you have seen is a glimpse of heaven. And he says, you know, if we look every day, we can see glimpses of heaven. You might find it in a rainbow, in a garden, by the sea, in a tree. You may find a glimpse of heaven in another person. And you can be a glimpse of heaven for me throughout Lent and throughout your life by simply remembering that you are a beloved child of God, called to do something very important for him. So take a moment now, children, and talk to Jesus and tell him where you see glimpses of heaven, which people show heaven, show God's kingdom and all its glory to you and tell Jesus how you will try and be a glimpse of heaven to others. And now it's time to thank Jesus for what you were allowed to see and experience today. And with Jesus and Peter and James and John, walk back down the mountain, keeping your eyes firmly fixed on Jesus. And know that when you come to a rough patch in life, when things seem a bit tough, that there are always glimpses of heaven to be found. Look for them every day and thank God for them. And when you're ready, open your eyes, and come back into the room. You might want to stretch and we'll say together, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.